I'm Nick Trachet from FAO and uh, we're here in the Republic of Palau to demonstrate the smoking and drying of clam meat. This is the MMDC giant clam hatchery and we are going to show how to construct a small smoker, how to prepare the meat and how to smoke the different stages of the clam. To construct a simple smoker we use a 55 gallon oil drum from which we cut the top and the bottom and then we put in at the third of the height some iron rods. We cut in a hole so we can access the fire we're going to make and in the top we hang some hooks on which we will put iron bars to support the rods for smoking. The top of the smoker, or the bottom if you like it, is going to be made into a smoke divider. We punch holes in the top and this we will rest on the iron rods so that it can it will stop the heat and disperse the smoke within the smoker. The piece we cut out of the side to uh, make the smoker we can keep so we can use it to control the inflow of air. These are the rods we are going to put over the hooks. And on these little rods we will then hang the clam meat so we can smoke it without it falling in the fire. The clam meat has been marinating for one night in a mixture of sugar and salt and has been so the meat has been mixed with this sugar and salt and a cover is put on top and enough weight to make pressure the next morning it will be ready for smoking The smoking process can be divided in three stages. First, we are going to dry the meat so that it can take up smoke. Then we will uh, smoke it for several hours so that it can take up color and flavor. And at the end, we will raise the temperature so that it can cook and get a finishing gloss. To start a fire, you must, of course, look that you are not in the rain or there are no wet conditions around then it is very important that you should only use dry hardwood which has not been painted nor treated. First we start a small fire on the ground and when the flames have subdued a bit and there is only, only a little bit of flames left we put the smoker on top. For the drying stage, we need a lot of air to dry the clam. That's why I put the smoker on these little pegs, but you can also use stones so that the whole of the smoker is from the ground. When we have taken the clam out of the marinade, we shake off the excess of sugar and salt and we put them on the rods. It is important that the pieces of clam should not touch each, each other otherwise they will not dry properly and not smoke properly there should be no real heat left 
the rod should feel not too hot. Smoke at this stage is not important, only a little fire so that they can dry out. This will take about one hour. Now we put on the adductor muscle, which as you can see has been cut in two before cooking. And then we keep the fire on a low flame, there should be some flame and much air. In a little smoker like this, I have been able to hang up um, starting from more than 12 kilograms of raw material. So probably 10, between 10 and 15 you could hang in one such a smoker. Raw product. After it is cooked, it is much less. It's only 30%. So one kilogram would give you 300 grams of cooked and marinated product ready for the smoker. This is the kind of fire we want. And after about three quarters of an hour we are going to start smoking when the clam is dry enough. One hour has passed, the temperature is still low, you can touch, it's not hot. And if you feel the surface of the clam meat, there will be no moisture left you shake it, there's no drops falling off. This is the moment we can start smoking. We are going to smoke for four hours, four to five hours. For that we need sawdust or wood chips like this which can be a bit moist, but have to be fine and made from hardwood, which is not toxic, has not been treated, has not been painted. Softwood is no good, like pine, which has, contains too much tar. So the tropical hardwood species are normally otherwise very good to smoke. Yes. To make smoke, we are going to put out all the fire, which is visible, by putting the sawdust over the fire. And then immediately you will see that heavy smoke is developing. And as we smoke, we don't want to go it to let it go slow, that's why we are going to reduce the intake of air by taking away the pegs and the stones we put under the smoker. To reduce the airflow further, we are going to cover the smoker and now this can slowly smoke on for four to five hours. Remember there should be no fire, a lot of smoke, and you can regulate a screen in front of the air intake to come back every 15, 20 minutes to look if there is no fire developing or that the fire is not going out you can regulate them by giving more air, less air. 
and this shouldn't be touched anymore for the next four hours to come. For a product with a high water content such as giant clam, smoking is one way of reducing the water content, enhancing the appeal and uh, making a value-added product, which can be done in small island countries such as Palau. Now four hours later, and as you can see I've opened the air intake so that in the last hour it could take up more air and therefore glow more and the temperature would be higher. At this stage it is tolerable that you have some flames and the only thing that has to be done now is to take it out of the smoker. Watch the color. It has now become amber golden color. That's how it should look like. Now we have to bring this inside and cool it down before you can store it in the freezer or in a dry room. I'm confident that this product will last about one week, certainly in a fridge and probably in a cool room. So uh, from the Republic of Palau, I thank you for your attention. <laughs>